everyone. Today I want to try something new. I've set up a basic video recording system and I want to give you a video tutorial on how to set up a fully nested VMware Home Lab running on a single physical box. So I'm running it on a Super Micro Mini Tower, a really great machine with a small footprint and I'm using it to run a fully nested environment. So it's running GCF4 with workload management with NSXT. Well, before we dive into all the specifics of this, uh, of this setup, let me show you um, how I set up my networking piece because networking can be a bit tricky with nested virtualization. So first of all, let's start with uh, my home network. I have a really simple home network environment. It's just a flat uh, dash uh, slash 24 network uh, in the 192.168.2.0 uh, range. Just a basic network. It's connected to my ISP router, which connects me to the internet. Nothing really special there. Now I've configured a number of VLANs in my nested environment. And I route these VLANs on a virtual router, um, which is shown here. And this is a ViOS router. It's basically uh, routing between all my VLANs in my nested environment. So one of the most important VLANs is VLAN 10. VLAN 10 is my management VLAN. It's configured with the IP range 10.0.10.0/24, and this basically holds all my VMware management components. So my SEBC manager, my vCenter server, my ESXi servers, and my NSXT uh, appliance. I've also configured a number of other VLANs. So VLAN 4 for vMotion, VLAN 8 for vSAN traffic, VLAN 6 for tap traffic on my hosts, VLAN 13 for edge uh, tap traffic, and I've configured two additional VLANs uh, for the uplinks, which connect to my NSXT edges, uh, which basically route between uh, my NSXT virtual networks and my physical network environment, so the VLANs. So let's take a look at how this is set up on my uh, Supermicro box. So let's first look at the virtual machines deployed on this physical ESXi server. So this is still physical world. So it's running the ViOS routing appliance. It's running a domain controller, which also serves as my jump box. And I have four nested ESXi appliances running here. The most tricky part in setting up nested virtualization is the whole networking piece. So I've configured two vSwitches in my environment. The first vSwitch is basically the vSwitch that connects my home lab environment to my home network. So as you can see here, this is a single uplink. I don't need redundancy. It's just a, um, a interface and uplink that's used to jump from my home network into my home lab environment and basically to provide internet connection uh, to my home lab. So nothing really special required here. As you can see, I have two port groups configured. One port group is just my home network. So that holds the uplink interface of the router, the virtual router, and it holds the jump box or and my domain controller. It also holds a VM kernel port for the management interface of my physical ESXi server, which is configured with IP address dot 35. As you can see here, I am now logged on to the management console of my physical ESXi server. This is still basic ESXi networking. The tricky part is in setting up the nested ESXi vSwitch because this requires some specific settings. First of all, we need a MTU size of 9000 to allow tap traffic, to allow jumbo frames for vMotion, for vSAN and so on. We also need to allow promiscuous mode, MAC address changes and forged transmits. Now, what's really important or tricky in uh, the configuration of this nested ESXi vSwitch is that it holds no physical adapters. So there's no uplink required. I only configure a single port group on this 
ESX, uh, Nessie ESX IP switch. And here comes the magic. I configure it with VLAN ID 4095. This basically puts the sport group in trunk mode. And this means that I can do VLAN tagging on the guests. So on the virtual machines running uh, connected to this sport group, I can do VLAN tagging on the virtual machines. Now, what are those virtual machines? They are primarily the Ethernet one, so the downlink interface of my virtual router and of course my ESXi servers. The ESXi servers are configured with two network interfaces. So as you can see here, both network interfaces of the nested ESXi server are connected to the nested ESXi port group, which has VLAN ID 4095. This means we can do VLAN tagging on the ESXi server itself. Now, one of the questions I received uh, on one of my blog posts was, how do I configure the nested ESXi server on that management VLAN, in my case, VLAN 10? Well, to answer that question, I need to switch to the vCenter view. And remember, these are the four ESXi servers, which are these virtual machines. So I'm now switching to the vCenter view and the vCenter server is deployed on this management cluster. If we take a look at the VM kernel configuration for this host, we can see that VM kernel zero uh, provides management service. So, so this is the management VM kernel for, um, for the ESXi host. It's connected to a port group called SDBC VDSO1 management. Now this is just vSphere networking. So this is a port group created on a distributed virtual switch and it is configured with VLAN 10. Now, what does this look like from, a, um, from the router perspective? So let me zoom in on the virtual router. And VIF 10 provides a default gateway for that VLAN. Remember, this is my John box which is configured with 192.168.2.36 and I can trace 10.0.10.101 which is the VM kernel interface of one of my ESXi servers and the virtual router will provide networking and routing. So basically that's it. This is the way we configure VLANs inside of the, um, the nested environment. So that was it for the vSphere networking part. Um, in my next video, I will dive into the NSXT configuration. So the transport zones, edge configuration, T0s, T1s. Hopefully I will be able to release it next week. So stay tuned and thank you for watching.